Um, my name is Tulina Makufane. I'm the BCD Program Director at Cambridge, um, where I uh, manage the ECD program. Uh, the ECD program at Cambridge focuses on supporting, uh, monitoring, and training ECD practitioners as well as centre managers. We are working with 130 ECD centres in the Ekanjeno region, where we visit them on a daily basis to assist them in becoming compliant with the registration requirements so that they can be able to get grants. Uh, we have more than 70 ECD centres that are already registered and they are receiving grants through our efforts. We work with more than 10,000 children in ECD centres. Some of our programmes include uh, programmes where we work with the communities in terms of um, uh, toy libraries where we recruit volunteers to work with children in homes to give access to toys even if when the school is closed, um, meaning that on Saturdays and Sundays um, during the day when children are not at school, they get access to toys. We've got more than 2,000 children that are having access to these toys on a daily basis. And in terms of our ECD program in the center-based one, um, uh, besides the fact that they get registered and, and receive grant, what we've seen uh, there is that there's been a huge shift in managing the centers themselves. Uh, in the past, there has been um, concerns around mismanagement of funds, but our center managers have been trained on financial management to manage their, 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 their finances. So therefore, the retainment of staff is high, and also parents are very happy to take their children there. Most of the children that are attending the ECD centers where we support and monitor are, are ready to go to grade R. They have been stimulated holistically, uh, cognitively, physically, and spiritually. So it's, it's very good for us um, as Cambridge that we are giving um, quality education, not only for, for, for practitioners, but also access to young children, so that when they go to an ECD center, they know that they are going to get quality education, which will give them a head start to be better citizens. Hi, Kim and family. My name is Bronwyn Nokia, and I'm the program director for basic education at Cambridge. So what do we do at basic education? Basically, um, we're involved in, with teacher development right from grade R right through to matric. And we have different programs that um, fall under basic education. So our first one, which is um, grade R related, is um, part of the Roger Federer Foundation. And that is working with um, educators and selected schools. And it's a tablet-based program. Um, so it's, it's, it's fantastic because it's bringing our educators up to speed with the um, fourth industrial revolution. Our next program is what we call our Asifunze program and that encompasses from grade one to grade three literacy and numeracy. Um, so that is helping our educators with, with various workshops um, in the classroom, how to teach literacy and numeracy. Um, how to take the lesson plans and, and actually how to, how to help, those learn, help the learners, even helping the teachers to, to teach the learners to read. Um, and the Asifunzi, we also have Cambridge Books and Homes, which is our own bookstore, um, where we have a large range of, of books that have been written by Belle Morris, so a local lady, Bogle's Books. And we distribute those books, we sell them both locally and internationally. Um, and part of the, the books and homes is what we call our reading camps. So this is a really exciting innovation. So we have over 400 
um, reading camps around Eshan Zeni and even some as far as Lipopo. And how this works is that volunteers have been identified and they are given what we call a book bag. So it's a very plastic container with a large range of, of books in it. And these books are, that we give to the, the, the reading camp volunteers are actually come through donations. Um, donations we, we get also from local organizations as once again international organizations. And these reading camp volunteers are then trained how to, to work with the, the children. And um, so the children come in after school in the afternoons and it's totally up to the, the volunteer whether they want the children to come every afternoon or once or twice a week and then the, they sit with the children and the children are allowed to read the books and they just interact with the children so it's just to try and in, encourage a, um, a reading culture with, within our communities um, and the, like I said, this has been a, it's a, it's a fantastic innovation and there's a lot of literacy organizations around the country are actually starting to ask us how we do it and are, are starting to learn from us. So our next um, program is our Maths and Science program and that covers from grades 4 to grade 12. Um, and that is both centre-based at our Shalomuka Science Centre where high school learners from the local um, community schools, they book a slot and they come into our science labs where the practicals are actually carried out for the learners. They become, they, they, they actually interact with our, our interns and our um, science leaders. Um, and the teachers are also taught how to run these practicals. Now the reason why we do this is that majority of the schools that we work at in, work at in the rural communities do not have science laboratories. So these learners would be expected to write an exam on a practical they've never ever seen. So this has really taken off well. And we also then have our Bay Labs, which are our, our science labs on the move, basically. So those Bay Labs go out, they are equipped with the relevant um, equipment necessary to run the, the, the practicals which pertain to that particular term. So thank you so much um, for, for listening. And yes, um, Cambridge is really working hard out in the communities to give the children of our country a better hope and, and, and a good solid education. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Kukule Tuma Shalena. I am from the Penridge family. Uh, I am a coordinator of the Average Program. Average Program year was born in 2018, where uh, our CEO, Mr. Andy Lenonza, wanted our rural school to have an opportunity to come to Penryn and, you know, have a different perspective on life and just to give them that hope of saying, it doesn't matter where you come from, but whatever that you have inside of you can take you to places that you never thought you would go. So what are we doing in, in Artridge? Uh, we sing, there's a choir, we have the marimba band, we have the jamba band. Uh, the marimba and the jamba band is coached by uh, Mr. Siabona Matani, and I am responsible for the choir coaching training you can name it so you know doing this is such a fulfilling feeling it fulfills me so much seeing these kids coming here each and every time for them just to come from their location and to be here in this wonderful uh environment it's it's life that's what i can say to you so we are really grateful so much to everyone who is contributing in this uh, project, you know, making a difference in our kids' lives. But then I'm so grateful because nine of our kids, they entered Pakisa competition, they went to the regional uh, level, then now the nine of them, they are continuing or proceeding to the national level. And we're, we're so privileged. The Pakisa guys, um, they came 
to give us workshops and we also received a PA system for the learners so it was just an honor and a privilege. I'm so grateful that I'm part of this initiative.